Hello students, how are you all? Welcome to Affairs Cloud, Learn to Lead. My name is Vikas Rana. So students, we have an app by the name Careers Cloud which you can go and download through the Play Store for Android phones. Once you have downloaded and logged in with your Gmail ID, you will be transferred to your home page where you can see all the courses that are offered by us. Once you have purchased the course, you can see your courses in the My Course section. But why our courses are so better? Why we think we provide you one of the best content? Because we provide you content on daily basis. In the daily basis, we provide you current affairs with 20 questions quiz as well as the PDF of the current affairs of daily. Then similarly for weekly, on weekly basis, we provide you current affairs PDF as well as a 50 questions quiz that will help you to revise all the content that you have learned. Then on monthly basis also, we provide you top 100 current affair questions PDF that will be the compiled PDF of the 100 questions of that particular month that will be very helpful for you. And not just this friends, we provide you in English as well as in Hindi too. So both English and Hindi students can enjoy our courses. Apart from this friends, we also provide you banking related question answers, the banking related MCQ questions, the quizzes that will help you prepare for the bank exams. Not just that friends, we provide you a new way of learning that is your infotainment infographics that is a different and interesting way of learning. Apart from this, we cover 20 topic wise current affairs. These topics are important such as apps portals, important days, books and authors days, uh, national affairs, international affairs, sports, defense, all these topics, these are highly important and questions from these particular topics are asked. Also, we cover state-wise current affairs also that will help you to prepare for your state exams. Also friends, as I told you, if you use the code VIKAS10, you will be given extra 10% discount on the purchase you make. If you have any problem regarding login and your application, then you can contact us on support at the rate of affairscloud.com this is our email id and you can contact us on our mobile phone that is 9677333862 hello students how are you all i hope you are all good so students in today's video we will be discussing important current affairs of 2nd of august this session will be very important so stay tuned till the end also friends when life puts you in a tough situation never say why me just say try me let the world know how strong you are also friends, you can subscribe to our channel. If you like the content that we are providing you on a daily basis, then like the video. Also share these videos with your friends and make a target of sharing to at least three groups daily while watching this video. We have a target to achieve that is of 15,000 views on daily basis that I want and how this will be achieved with the help of you guys. All you have to do is share this video to at least two to three WhatsApp groups in your uh, friends be it family be it cousins or be it any person that you have been preparing with or you have been preparing along with for government exams also friends do comment below and let us know what are your views on such types of suggestions so let's start with the session friends first yesterday's homework kajal has given all the correct answer for the yesterday's homework so students you can match your answers from here best of luck kajal for your futures and keep preparing and keep answering such answers let's start as you know we have to start with some important mcq questions then we will be moving on to the news part first question is which state held the most number of sittings of the state assembly in 2021 it was your kerala i repeat Kerala, as per the recent study released by a think tank that is PRS Legislative Research. Alright, PRS Legislative Research stated according to this think tank, it stated that for the maximum number of sittings of the state assembly in 2020, the state that has stopped is Kerala. Kerala has their own OTT platform that is over the top platform by the name C Space, and this is the first state to have their own internet service provider also next question revamped distribution sector scheme which was recently launched is implemented by which union ministry so revamped distribution scheme this was launched by the ministry of power prime minister launched the union power ministry's revamped distribution sector scheme it it helps to it aims to help discoms improve their operational efficiencies and financial stability.
प्राइम मिनिस्टर नरेंद्र मोदी लेड द फाउंडेशन स्टोन ऑफ वेरियस ग्रीन एनर्जी प्रोजेक्ट्स ऑफ एन टी पी सी वर्थ ओवर फिफ्टी टू हंड्रेड करोड़ रुपीज ही वॉज ऑल्सो लॉन्च अ नेशनल सोलर रूफ टॉप पोर्टल सो क्वेश्चन कैन बी आज दैट नेशनल सोलर रूफ टॉप पोर्टल वॉज लॉन्च बाय होम इट वॉज लॉन्च बाय नरेंद्र मोदी जी हु इज द प्राइम मिनिस्टर ऑफ इंडिया नेक्स्ट पेची वाइल्ड लाइफ सेंचुरी वेयर अ न्यू डैम सेल्फ फ्लाई स्पीशीज हैज बीन स्पॉटेड इन विच स्टेट दिस न्यू स्पीशीज ऑफ डैम सेल्फ फ्लाई हैज बीन स्पॉटेड टेल मी इट हैज बीन स्पॉटेड इन द स्टेट ऑफ केरला ऑल राइट हाईली इंपॉर्टेंट रिमेंबर आई रिपीट इन पीची वाइल्ड लाइफ सेंचुरी दैट इज लोकेटेड इन द स्टेट ऑफ केरला अ न्यू डैम सेल्फ फ्लाई स्पीशीज हैज बीन स्पॉटेड एंड इट हैज बीन स्पॉटेड इन द स्टेट ऑफ केरला नेक्स्ट एल डी बी दैट इज योर लॉजिस्टिक्स डाटा बैंक प्रोजेक्ट विच वॉज सीन इन द न्यूज रिसेंटली इज एसोसिएटेड विद विच मिनिस्ट्री सो लॉजिस्टिक्स डाटा बैंक दैट वॉज सीन इन न्यूज रिसेंटली वॉज रिलेटेड टू योर मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ कॉमर्स एंड इंडस्ट्री और राइट इन दिस लॉजिस्टिक डाटा बैंक इट हैज अचीव अ माइल स्टोन ऑफ हैंडलिंग फिफ्टी मिलियन एग्जेम कंटेनर्स ई एक्स आई एम वॉट इज ई एक्स आई एम इट इज योर एक्सपोर्ट एंड इम्पोर्ट containers all right so union commerce and industry minister lauded the nicdc's logistic data service for the achievement and here nicdc stands for national industrial corridor development corporation and this logistic data bank is of nicdc all right next next fifth question is loktak lake that is the largest fresh water lake in india is located in Which state? Loktak Lake is situated in Manipur. If I ask you, where is the largest river Rhine island? Where is this? This is Majuli Island. And where is this located? It is located in Assam. And the river on which this Majuli Island is located is Brahmaputra. All right. So correct option here becomes this Loktak Lake is located in Manipur. If I ask you where is Chilka Lake? Chilka Lake is in Odisha. All right. Next. Now, friends, it's time for your news section. All right. We will be covering the important news part now. First is regarding a national news. Recently, Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology, his uni, its Union Minister Ashwini Vaishnav, has recently inaugurated eight years of My Government event in New Delhi. first of all friends we'll talk about what was this my government recently this was launched in the year 2014 by prime minister narendra modi all right my government is a government of india citizen engagement platform to empower people to connect with the government and contribute toward the good governance it is a part of digital india corporation a section 8 company under mei ty and it has been premised upon three pillars of do discuss and decimate all right highly important here my government has played a vital role in bridging the communication gap through decimation of innovation in various creative formats and mediums such as videographs then infographics podcast interactive dashboards and many more all right then my government has over 2.5 crore registered citizens and has accumulately amassed 1.4 billion views on various sections pages and microsites this was launched in 18 states such as himachal pradesh goa tamil nadu up jammu and kashmir and so on all right coming back friends if we talk about it that recently ashwini vaishnav has inaugurated the 8 years of my government portal as this was launched in the year 2014 all right it was launched in 2014 and it has recently celebrated 8 years of it this celebration is on the lines of the vision of jan bhagidari that is public participation also remember this was responsible ai for u 2022 also was launched here i repeat here only launch of responsible artificial intelligence for u 2022 was also launched the union minister launched this responsible artificial intelligence for u 2022 that was a program that was 
कंट्री जेट वॉज जनरेटेड और इट वॉज क्रिएटेड बाय नेशनल ई गवर्नेंस डिविजन इन कोलेबरेशन विद इंटेल इंडिया एंड विद द सपोर्ट ऑफ मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ एजुकेशन सो हेयर यू हैव टू रिमेंबर टू टू थ्री थिंग्स फर्स्ट फर्स्ट यू शुड नो वॉट इज दिस रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर रिस्पॉन्सिबल ए आई फॉर यूथ दिस प्रोग्राम इज ओपन फॉर ऑल द स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ एट टू ट्वेल्थ क्लास अक्रॉस इंडिया दिस विल बूस्ट डीपर अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस एंड एनकरेज यूथ टू बिकम more human centric designers so coming back remember if we talk about responsible ai from this news that we just saw that 8 years has been completed first thing though you have to remember this only but apart from this then you have to remember what was launched during this it was the responsible artificial intelligence for youth 2022 was launched and this is launched by whom this was this program was created by national e governance division all right it is in collaboration with which organization it is in collaboration with intel india also the ministry that is supporting this responsible ai for you for youth is ministry of education and remember for which class student this program is open that is responsible artificial intelligence for youth it is for the class of 8 to 12th important news friends all right then moving on next next remember union home and corporate cooperation minister amit shah has launched a new initiative in the domain of education and skill development to commemorate commemorate the completion of 2 years of new uh, national education policy 2020 if we talk about national education policy friends remember the first national education policy was released in the year 1968 then it was released in 1986 then this 1986 education policy was edited into the year 1992 and then the third education policy that is of 2020 was released if we talk about 1968 remember in this education policy the prime minister uh, the prime minister at that time was indira gandhi then in 1986 it was sanjay gandhi and then in 2020 it is narendra modi ji If we ask about Operation Blackboard, when was Operation Blackboard released, or it was in the which education policy? So it was under the education policy of nineteen eighty six that Operation Blackboard was released, and it was released in nineteen eighty seven. All right, this was released on the basis of an commission that was Education Commission Report of nineteen sixty four sixty six. and it was also recommended on the basis of kothari commission that was of so this was all this commission of kothari commission is also known as education commission of 1964 and 1966 on the basis of which the education policy of was released for 1968 then in 1986 and now in 2020 and the news here is that recently as we are in 2022 two years has been completed of this national education policy the initiatives that were established cover every aspect of the education and skill development including teacher training assessment digital education innovation synergizing education and skill development all right also remember some other important initiatives here are such as introduction of the 75 bharatiya games in school launch of kala shala initiative in 750 schools to promote and support local arts partnership with indira gandhi open university for upward mobility and skill uh, skill hubs initiative has been also launched during this celebration of 2 years of this national education policy next fourth india oman fourth india oman joint military exercise by the name al naja fourth has been commenced in rajasthan i repeat fourth edition that is this is fourth edition of the india and oman joint military exercise by the name al naja was held from will be held from 1st of august to 13th of august at the foreign training node of mahajan field firing range that is in rajasthan all right highly important so al naja this is an exercise that is conducted between which two nations it is conducted between india and oman highly important and the location for this exercise that you have to remember is rajasthan all right and it is between the navies of these two it is between the army as it is in rajasthan so remember it is between the army of the two countries 
नेक्स्ट मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ स्टील हैज सेट अप एन एडवाइजरी कमिटी फॉर सेकेंडरी स्टील सेक्टर द मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ स्टील कॉन्स्टिट्यूटेड एन एडवाइजरी कमेटी फॉर सेकेंडरी स्टील अंडर द चेयरमैनशिप ऑफ मिनिस्टर ऑफ सिविल एविएशन एंड स्टील ज्योतिरादित्य एम सिंधिया The objective is to identify the issues pertaining to the steel sector, especially the secondary steel industry. Remember, the first meeting of the committee is scheduled to be held on 8th of August, where they will identify the issues of concern and set priority for the committee for action. It is noted that India's secondary steel output fell sharply over the years. From a level of 55% in 2015, secondary steel producers now account for output of just 40% of steel production today. So that means earlier in 2015, a 55% was the market share, but now it is just to 40%. All right. Next, next is if we talk about it, remember. Next news is regarding IISC and India Navy. IIS is in Bangalore and Indian Navy has signed an pact to self reliance in key technology all right there was an mou that was signed between these two organization that is IISC Bangalore and Indian Navy it was to boost self reliance in key technologies and to collaborate on aviation research and development all right highly important here remember under this agreement IISC will provide aid and assistance to the navy to ramp up self reliance efforts the areas of collaboration for joint research include aerospace aeronautical engineering design and education technology other key areas of specialization include propulsion and propulsion system steel technology metallurgy metallurgy science material science corrosion science systems controls instrumentations and so on All right so coming back you have to remember that Indian Navy has tied up with which institution or has signed an MOU with which institution to boost self reliance in the technology sector it is your IISC Bangalore highly important question friends so next news is pradhan mantri vaya vandana yojana has recently completed 5 years this scheme was launched that means in the year 2017 all right and this scheme will now be valid till the march of 2023 all right remember pradhan mantri vaya vandana yojana has been extended to 3 years that is till the year march of 2023 earlier this scheme was till 31st of march 2020 all right initially an assured return of 7.4% per annum for the year 2021 per annum will be provided and to the senior citizen saving scheme under this pradhan mantri vaya yojana remember this pradhan mantri vaya vandana yojana was launched in 2017 and by which ministry it was launched by the ministry of finance it was a scheme to safeguard the guaranteed payout of pension to senior citizens every month the scheme can be purchased offline as well as online through the lic which has given the sole privilege to operate this scheme the eligibility is 60 years minimum eligibility and maximum there is no eligibility all right so then if we talk about pradhan mantri matru vandana yojana this scheme was earlier known as indira gandhi matritta sahyog yojana now it has been renamed to pradhan mantri मातृ वंदना योजना इट इज अ मैटरनिटी बेनिफिट प्रोग्राम दैट इज रन बाय द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया एंड इट वाज ओरिजिनली लॉन्च्ड इन 2010 एंड इट वाज रीनेम्ड इन 2017 दैट इज योर प्रधानमंत्री प्रधानमंत्री मातृ वंदना योजना दैट इज अ मैटरनिटी बेनिफिट स्कीम फॉर रन बाय द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया हाईली इंपॉर्टेंट फ्रेंड्स नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट इज UNGA that is United Nation General Assembly has declared access to clean and healthy environment a universal human right i repeat United Nation General Assembly adopted a resolution that was titled as the human right to a clean healthy and sustainable environment and declared the right to a clean healthy and sustainable environment as a human right The resolution was adopted with 161 votes in the favor and 8 absentees. The resolution calls upon the state, international organizations and business enterprises to scale up their effort to a healthy environment for all. That means they should focus on sustainable development goals. 
Also remember, India voted in the favor of the resolution, but dissociated itself from an operative paragraph of the text. India pointed out that United Nations General Assembly's regulations do not create binding obligations. Also remember, China, Russia, Belarus, Cambodia, Iran, Syria, Kyrgyzstan and Ethiopia are the states that have been absent from voting on this particular resolution that was launched by United Nations General Assembly to clean and healthy environment. Next, next we, is some regard, we will be talking about some awards. Savatri Jindal became the Asia's richest woman, I repeat, as per the data released by Bloomberg's Billionaire Index, Savitri Jindal from India became the Asia's richest woman by surpassing Yang Huan from China due to the property crisis that is currently going on in China. So remember, Savitri Jindal, Savitri Jindal became the Asia's richest woman. Highly important. All right. Savitri Jindal's uh, we we talk about the wealth it is totally current at at 11.3 billion dollar and she is the india's richest woman and 10th richest person in india of about 1.4 billion all right i repeat if we are talking about the women she is india's richest woman and 10th richest person in india also students we have recently uploaded a new interactive infographics on the national film awards of 2020 this is a very helpful way to learn new things it will help you to save time and make a memory capacity also friends this is available in the pdf in the carriers cloud mobile application do watch these infographics and let us know in the comment section what are your views then next is Max Verstappen. He has won the Hungarian Grand Prix 2022. He also won Emilia Romagna Grand Prix, Azerbaijan Grand Prix. All right, remember. And this is the his tenth grid win for Hungary by winning the Hungarian Grand Prix for 2022. That means he has won his tenth Grand Grand uh, Grand Prix title for the year 2022, and he drives for Red Bull. Next. Next, we will be talking about Sebastian Vettel has announced his retirement from Formula 1 racing. Very important to racer, Sebastian Vettel. Alright, highly remember, remember him. He recently announced his retirement from Formula 1. Next, we will be talking about an obituary. Former Philippine President Fidel V. Ramos, as you can see him in the picture, has recently passed away. Next, Next, a book you have to remember that is the Tata Power and Ella Foundation together release this fourth edition of fourth book that is Amphibians of the Northwestern Guards. I repeat, Amphibians of the Northwestern Guards. This is the name of the book. That is the fourth book that was released by Tata Power and Ella Foundation together. This book, if we talk about who authored this book, this book was authored by Satish Pandey. All right. It was authored by Satish Pandey with inputs from Vivek Vishwarao and Gram Purohit. Next is World Ranger Day. On 31st of July, we observe World Ranger Day. Next, here you have to see the theme that the theme of the World Ranger Day is diversity. Next is your Muslim Women Right Day. On 1st of August, we observe Muslim Women Right Day. Highly important. Also remember, in 2022, we observed the third edition of the muslim women rights day next is world breastfeeding week that is observed from 1st to 7th of august so i repeat world breastfeeding week is observed from 1st to 7th of august and the theme here is step up for breastfeeding educated and support i repeat step up for breastfeeding educated and support is the theme here that you have to remember Next, Arunachal Pradesh has recently signed a tripartite agreement for school education transformation. I repeat, in order to improve the school education, a MOU, a tripartite MOU was signed that is between Arunachal Pradesh, Niti Aayog and Reach to Teach Organization. Niti Aayog and Reach to Teach Organization for a large scale transformation in school education. This is a three-year partnership agreement. NEP was launched by the central government here on 29th of July 2022. That is new ed national education policy. So coming back, what are these three organizations between which an MOU has been sent? Arunachal State, Arunachal Pradesh government, Niti Aayog, and Reach to Teach organization. And this will be a three-year partnership to develop education in the state government schools of Arunachal Pradesh. Next, 
वेस्ट बंगाल हैज साइंड एन एमओयू विद महाराष्ट्र टू प्रिवेंट माइग्रेशन एंड ट्रैफिकिंग ऑफ वीमेन रिमेंबर दिस डायरेक्टली इंपॉर्टेंट ऑल राइट रिसेंटली दे हैव अटेंडेड अ स्टेट लेवल कंसल्टेशन ऑन यूजेज एंड अब्यूजेज ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी दैट वॉज ऑर्गनाइज बाई वेस्ट गवर्नमेंट वेस्ट बंगाल्स गवर्नमेंट एंड यूनिसेफ ऑन द ओकेजन ऑफ वर्ल्ड डे अगेंस्ट ट्रैफिकिंग इन पर्सन दैट इज ऑन थर्टियथ ऑफ जुलाई एंड रिसेंटली वेस्ट बंगाल हैज साइंड एन एम ओ यू विद महाराष्ट्र टू प्रिवेंट माइग्रेशन एंड ट्रैफिकिंग ऑफ वीमेन ऑल राइट इंपॉर्टेंट इनिशिएटिव सो फ्रेंड्स दैट्स ऑल फॉर द डे नाउ लेट्स क्विकली रिवाइज ऑल द करंट अफेयर्स एम ई आई टी वाई मिनिस्टर अश्विनी वैष्णव हैज इनोग्रेटेड एट ईयर्स ऑफ माई गवर्नमेंट पोर्टल दैट वॉज इन न्यू डेली दैन यूनियन होम एंड कॉरपोरेशन मिनिस्टर अमित शाह हैज लॉन्च एजुकेशन एंड स्किल डेवलपमेंट इनिशिएटिव टू कमेमरेट द टू ईयर एनिवर्सरी ऑफ नेशनल एजुकेशन पॉलिसी फोर्थ एडिशन ऑफ इंडियन ओमान ज्वाइंट मिलिट्री एक्सरसाइज अल नगा वॉज हेल्ड इन राजस्थान स्टील मिनिस्ट्री हैज सेट अप एन एडवाइजरी कमिटी फॉर द सेकेंडरी सीन सेक्टर आई आई एस सी एंड इंडियन नेवी हैज साइंड एन एम ओ यू टू बूस्ट द सेल्फ रिलायंस इन की टेक्नोलॉजीज प्रधानमंत्री वया वंदना योजना हैज कम्प्लीटेड फाइव ईयर्स यूनाइटेड नेशन जनरल असेंबली हैज डिक्लेयर्ड एक्सेस टू क्लीन एंड हेल्दी इन्वायरमेंट एंड यूनिवर्सल ह्यूमन राइट वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फ्रेंड्स नेक्स्ट सेबी हैज पोस्टपोन द न्यू एम एफ म्यूचुअल फंड नॉमिनेशन रूल्स टू अक्टूबर वन इम्पोज थ्री लैख रुपीज पेनल्टी ऑन बी एस सी सावित्री जिंदल बिकेम द एशियाज रिचेस्ट वीमेन मैक्स वर्स्टेपन हैज वन द हंगेरियन ग्रैंड पिक्स ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू फॉर्मर फिलिपिन प्रेजिडेंट फिडेल फाइव रामोस हैज रिसेंटली पास द वे ही वॉज द फॉर्मर प्रेजिडेंट ऑफ फिलिपिन टाटा पावर एंड इला फाउंडेशन हैज रिलीज द फोर्थ बुक टाइटल एम्फीवियंस of the north western ghats i repeat it was the fourth book released by tata power and ela foundation that is amphibians of the north western ghats next is 31st of july we observe world ranger day muslim women rights day on 3rd of august and this is the third edition that was observed on this year in 2022 then world breast feeding breast feeding day week is observed of from 1st to 7th of august Arunachal Pradesh has signed a tripartite MOU for school education transformation. Then West Bengal has signed an MOU with Maharashtra to prevent migration and trafficking of women. So all these current affairs are very important friends. Now it's time for your homework. First question is the agriculture census is conducted in the interval of how many years in India? Second question, which shipyard built India's first indigenous aircraft carrier Vikrant? Important question. third tadoba tiger reserve which hosted the global tiger day celebration is located in which indian state fourth which state hosted the fight chess olympiad for the first time in india and it was the 44th edition of the fight chess olympiad that was hosted in india next the indian navy recently received two mh60r romeo multi role helicopters from which country a total batch of 24 helicopters will be received by india two has been received will be one will be coming in august and rest will be also be soon given by which country to india so friends these are questions i want you all to comment below the answer of each and every question i want to see the maximum participation here friends also if in the end you enjoyed our session you like the content that we provide so you have to like the video and also share the link of this video with your friends i want to see maximum participation here and i want us to reach at least 15000 views on daily basis on our current affair so all you have to do is just share the link of this video till at least two to three groups every time all right and let your friends know yes that there is a sir that is vikas rana sir on our affairs cloud channel that teaches the current affairs in such a way that we have to don't revise it on daily basis we just watch the video and all the current affairs are memorized by us so that's all for the day friends thank you and have a nice day that's all for the day friends i hope you enjoyed the session and you can follow us on the youtube channel as well as apart from youtube channel you can go and follow us at affairs cloud telegram channel and if you have any queries related to the content or the of courses offered to you or the payment which you did on the application you can contact us on the number provided that is 76773362 apart from this friends you can follow us on the facebook as well as on instagram handle that is affairscloud_official 
In the end friends, if you use a code that is Vikas10, you will be getting an additional extra 10% discount by using this code Vikas10. Also, if you have any problem regarding the course purchase, any problem regarding to our application, you can contact us on the mobile number that is 9677333862. And if you want to mail us, you can also mail us on support at the rate of affairscloud.com. And I assure you that our representative from us will be contacting you soon and resolving your issue.